Good morning, it's Friday the 25th of February. If George Harrison was still alive, today would be his birthday. I'm sure you know that he's famous for being in the band The Beatles. My dad is a huge fan of The Beatles. When I was growing up, I often used to listen to their records and sing along. Now, my children, dad's grandchildren, are being indoctrinated in just the same way. They listen to The Beatles with Grandpa and they're learning to love it too. Grandpa is sharing the love he has of their music with his grandchildren. This love of The Beatles has been passed from generation to generation. That love, that passion, that enthusiasm, that joy is being shared down the generations. I think that poses a challenge for us as Christians. Is that how we are with our faith? Are we sharing our faith with the next generation? Are we passing on our love and passion and enthusiasm and joy of our faith and for our God with our children? Often we hear non-Christians say, oh no, I want my child to make up their own mind about whether to believe or not. And that's fair enough in one sense. We've all got to make our own decisions. Faith has got to be personal. We've got to own it. But I also have a problem with that. If you really love a football team and you always go to their matches and you support them every week, do you say to your children, oh, well, I'll let you make up your own mind about that? Or do you drag them along and try and show them what's so great? If you love your music, like my dad loves the Beatles, do you just say, oh, no, I'll let my children make their own mind up? Or do you share with them what it is that you love about the Beatles? Surely it's much more important to pass on our love for God than it is for these other things. Scripture Union has a campaign called the 95. It's called that because 95% of under 18s don't go to church. But many of them are open to faith. And their campaign encourages individuals and churches and communities to think about how they might reach those 95, how they might share God's love with them. When I was thinking about generations, a couple of Bible verses from the Psalms um, came to mind. So Psalm 78 verse 4. We will tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders he has done. And then Psalm 102 verse 18. Let this be a record for a generation to come, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. The next generation can't make up their own minds if they don't know what they don't know. Let's pray. Loving God, we pray today that you will help our own faith to grow. And in growing, we will become more confident in sharing your love with others. We pray for Scripture Union's 95 campaign. That through it they will touch young people. And these young people will get to hear about you. We pray for all the ways our circuit is trying to share your love with children and families especially through Sunday schools and messy churches. We ask this in your name. Amen.